we're back with Drew, uh, DR Quadruple O. I don't know if like he's gruff, I'm Who's loud. Do you want like a four-letter name or uh, if I'm loud, Drew? he's gruff? Isn't Drew a four-letter name? <laughs> DR OO. I'm drinking uh, Break. It's a, I got this when I was in Ohio by Heart Rate, Heart State Brewing. I'll hold it up. <laughs> nice. I assassinated somebody. The hazy. Oh, you it's killed. Oh, that air, was uh, that's the dude. Dude dead. That's the dude from Big Lebowski, who a lot of people <coughs> have been reaching out to us through YouTube and saying that Gruff reminds them of the dude. Well, I do. I am a white guy in a robe with a beard. At the time of the recording, you're not wearing a bathrobe right now, though. No, no. I'm, well, I'm. I didn't uh, shower. You did. <laughs> so you uh, put yeah. that on after the show. Well, yeah, no, it was my, it, it, it was my, I'm done for the night. You know, my. Can I, you hear anything? Which can I you hear I everything? Put out. I can hear everything. You feel good about this? Okay. So, Drew, do you want to, like, so we introduce you. There's Drew. Welcome, Drew, to the Loud and Gruff, Gruff and Loud Show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, <laughs> you're our first. Pleasure. <laughs> you're, Pleasure. Uh, it's Pleasure. warm. Pleasure. Is it warm Pleasure. in here? Are you warm? I'm a little hot, but I generate a lot of heat. Yeah. So it's hard to tell. It got hotter when you got here. It got spicy. Oh. It got spicy and sexy in here. Pew, pew, pew. Sex appeal is a wonderful, warm, womanly, healthy feeling. This guy brings a sex appeal right here. Okay, if we're being 100% honest, men aren't attractive when they're, like, good-looking or have abs. My underwear's full of oh, sweat. Yeah. My underwear's full of sweat. Oh, yeah. My underwear's full of sweat. Oh, yeah. And there's no, you know, there's nothing that says this can't be an X-rated show. No, you can't. Oh, that would whip out my junk. Yeah, whip yeah, out you your junk, DR. Oh, that would whip out my junk. Oh, 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 oh. mashed potatoes, Trip. Yeah, put your dick in my mashed potatoes, okay. if you know what I'm saying. Is that uh, there you go. Ed Rock, or which one said that? Uh, it was a... Uh, it was actually a uh, sound Sam bite sample. sample. She said, pardon me, sir, while I go into the kitchen and fuck the chicken. <laughs> he looked around at his buddy and said, shit, if this going to be that kind of party, I'm going to stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. Uh, this is Drew. He has probably known Steve and I most of our lives. Yeah, three, yeah. three years. Yeah. Maybe two or three years we're old when we met Drew. So we know this guy pretty well. well. I, didn't, I didn't meet Drew until, until we were friends, really. So second grade. Agreed. I mean, you not to say that we didn't know of each other because, you know, neighborhoods. Came. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was with the, I was yeah. at the Burns' house back in the day. Yeah. Jason yeah. Marsh and Todd Ferris friends. and uh, Danny Marquez. Anna Ferris. Medcaps, Medcaps, I should say. You know, and those are all people that could be future guests because Danny Marquis once punched Jerry Gladio in the face. Danny Marquis. I didn't know that happened. He did? Why did he want to fight you? Because a girl, a lower grade girl, had a huge crush on him. And I was his, next to his locker in football. And he'd tell us all these stories that him and his girlfriend would get yeah. into. Yeah. And... I didn't know there was a code in the locker room that what stays in the locker room or what said in the locker room stays in. The yeah. Locker room. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. So he said all these things and this girl had a big crush on him. I'm like, you might have a chance with him. He's doing this, this, and this <laughs> with his girlfriend. He's doing that, all these sexual things. Right. And I got back to him and my bus stop at the time was right outside his house. Oh. So it comes out and like, you're talking all this shit about me. I'm like, oh, no, no, man, I'm talking about shit about what you do with your girl. You told me. Like, what are you so upset about? Yeah. Like, you, you can't do that shit, man. So he was pissed. <laughs> and then there was a rumor, like, every week you'd come out, I heard you say this, I heard you say that. But the weeks that followed, I hadn't said any of those things. Oh, it was, oh, it was just the me. one time. Right. I oh, learned my lesson. Someone was, just, someone was just telling him shit for fun. Exactly. At Drew's yeah. expense. Yeah. Yeah. So this is so we might have to have him on to clear the air. That might be a mystery. Right. And he, he said he was like, he offered me a choice on how he was going to whip my ass. Really? He said uh -huh. he's either going to be him to whip my ass. It was either going to be Matt Gladio who whoops my ass, or it was going to be a bunch of his uh, sixth grade or uh, like elementary. It was going to be like 10 elementary kids to whoop my ass. He goes, I, I get the pick. Oh, I'll take the 10 elementary kids. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, never, it never happened. Wait, that was really a thing he presented to you? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't hesitate. I'll take the 10 kids. Now, you were in high school at this time? Yeah. 
<laughs> we got to have Danny I was a, Marcos on I was now. a football player in high school, and the yeah. uh, offer that was presented to me on how I should get my ass kicked was by 10 elementary And kids. so just to put this in context, we're talking about now, like a, Danny Marcos is probably a 50-year-old man who's married with kids in college, and he lives somewhere in Colorado somewhere, you know. But we're friends on Facebook, so I could reach out to him easily. And elementary school kids. Yeah. It was, it was either a kid that's one year older than you, me, a statewide wrestling champ. I don't know if he's a state, but he was. Oh, a, yeah. He, he was, was a good was a wrestler. Wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. a bunch of no name elementary kids. That was no decision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Honestly, I, I don't know that I would know that he even knew who you were. Like, I, I, I never saw you two. In the same circles. Well, we weren't. The only reason why, because we shared. Yeah, because like, we that locker. Next, yeah, yeah right. next door to each other is in the varsity <laughs> locker room. Ah, uh, so mean, he was covered head to toe in hickeys, and he was advertising. Oh that. my god! Am I not allowed to tell people? Yeah, that story? you gotta tell people that story. I didn't know the code. I'm on your side on that one. I think. Well, I tell people up front, don't tell me any secret. Like, can you hold secret? No, I can't. I'll tell everybody. <laughs> and then if you tell me what it is, and I say, like, you're, that's your fault. Who cares? Like, it's such a good story. You can't keep it to yourself. But speaking of that, it's like the big gossip on TikTok now that Steve understands Couch Guy. Dun, dun, dun. So did Audrey that's explain good. to you Couch Guy? Yeah. Couch Guy is this. It started I'm gonna as. I'm going to go get my beer while you're explaining. Okay. So it started as, like, a normal like video and she was surprising her boyfriend like coming home after from like long distance or whatever i don't really know and her boyfriend was in the apartment he was on the on the couch okay and and so she comes in and there's like three other girls on the couch with him whoa that's a surprise yeah they're not doing anything they're not like they're not like doing anything he's just, they're just like next to him they're just hanging out his, watching a movie yeah i think he has his arm around like the girls or something one of them has a, their arm around him and then she just like hugs him and then he's just like all awkward because like he didn't know hmm. a 12 year old explained couch guy to me drew nice so drew and i are really invested in this couch guy thing you think he's you think he was cheating yes you don't think he was innocent with those girls no I think he's I, I think he's fucking with his girlfriend. I'm I'm be- giving the guy the benefit. Well, that's the thing with TikTok. You don't know what stage and what is it. You don't know what the other exactly. girl do and what yeah. didn't. Let's do a joke yeah. with my girlfriend and blah blah blah. So you're right. It could like, be her reaction could have been real. Like this could have been people that have been like, hey, I, I, I see that your girlfriend's fucking with you. Right. Well, at this yeah. point, they're so smart. If they, if they, there is something to it. Like maybe they. If they stage the whole thing, because it's gone completely viral, like people are obsessed with it. Yeah, um, they'd be wise to keep the straight to themselves. Yeah, keep it to yourself and keep it going. You're going to be on Jimmy Fallon or something. <laughs> keep it going for as long as you want, but be careful. You could have that. You could have the uh, the white stripes back backlash. Meg and Jack were married. Yes. Right. But they yeah. they pretended like they were brother and sister or something. Someone thought they were brother and sister, and they decided to fuck with them and go, yeah. And it they, the story took off. They, Whatever then said, it man. became holy shit. People believe this shit. <laughs> it's, it's funny when you realize what people are willing to believe. Yeah, and, people believe anything yeah. now. We know people would always believe anything. It's just now easier to get them to. Right, you have a bigger audience. Or you have access it's, to everybody. Everyone has a bigger access to audience. Like anybody at any point now can become 15 minutes famous. And they were hoping to continue off of their straight three out of four losses. And so we'll take a look and see how that happened. They started off good, but then eventually but the Ball State women's, be- women's team shot down and ended up doing poorly. Oh, no. And it's working. Okay. We're going to continue on now. The ladies Cardinals will play an Iowa tournament starting this Friday. Before the Ball State baseball team kicks off its conference season this we- this weekend, the Cards will battle an in- in-state rival Indiana tomorrow. Tomorrow's game will be the meeting between the two, beating both first <sighs> Hoosiers are on the four on on the year 
And they have won six of its last seven games tomorrow. It will be the game three at 3 p.m. Which, switching to Ball State men's tennis, it seems last... Well, I mean, 15 minutes can, you know, buy you an insurrection if you want. Boom. Oh. Boom goes the dynamite. Later, he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom goes the dynamite. Carlos Summer here. 